entrusts so much to you. God trusts you. What a beautiful thought. And that's exactly what our gospel is about today. God's not going to interfere in your life, but he has given to you as a gift with all your gifts and talents. And I think today's gospel is an invitation for us to review our life. To think, well, am I using the gifts and talents I have? Or am I being lazy with them? If I am using them, do I put them at the service of others and for God, the building up of his kingdom? Or just for my own promotion? Each of us will have to render an account to God at the end of our life. This is where God is just. And the gospel this week is about divine justice. But justice isn't something we should be afraid of. In fact, at times there's a tendency on some to deny God's justice completely. In a way, this is understandable, but probably also suggests that we've never seriously been sinned against. We've never experienced one of those sins that cry out to heaven for justice. Uh, We read in scripture that it's the cry of the foreigner, the poor, the widow, the wage owner who has been denied his wages that arises before the throne of God. He hears them. And he will punish. That's why we look for justice, not just in this world, but there will be a final reckoning. But for those who truly set their mind and heart on the good Lord, this justice is nothing to be feared. St. Therese of Lisieux, I think, puts it so beautifully. She writes, That justice which frightens so many souls is for me a source of joy and confidence. To be just means more than to be severe in punishing the guilty. It takes account of right intentions and wishes to reward virtue. I expect as much from the justice of our good Lord as from his mercy. It is because he is just that he is compassionate and full of mildness, slow to punish and rich in mercy. For God knows our weakness. He remembers that we are but dust. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord compassionate towards us. The Lord knows us better than anyone. He loves us better than anyone. And he is more generous than anyone could ever be. If we truly set our minds and hearts on him, it doesn't matter how many times we fall, how weak we are, each time he is willing to help us up to begin again and to love him. And we're already able to experience the generosity of God in this life. He keeps on giving more and more to those who are willing to receive them.